May I tell you a story when I was a boy in the, li in the little island of Barbados. We were a very large family, nine boys and a girl, my father, my mother, and my grandmother on my mother's side. And we had the usual thing you have in the islands. It's a tropical island. We had ducks, we had chickens, we had sheep and goats and cows for the milk because there was no dairy when I was a boy. You either had a cow or you had no milk, or you had a goat or you had no milk, unless a neighbor had more than they could use and then they gave it to you. But we had a few cows and we had the usual things like a farm. When my mother decided that, say, two weeks from today, we were going to have ducks for dinner, she would say to one of the boys, any one of them, would say to me, Neville, take a few ducks and put them away. Well, I knew exactly what she meant. You would take three ducks for our size family, maybe four ducks, because there are not so much on the duck. But you would take the ducks, and you put them into a pane by themselves, away from the other ducks. Because the normal run of ducks, we fed fish. Fish was plentiful and cheap. In fact, when I was a boy, you bought fish all a penny. There was no refrigeration, so the boats came in late around sun, sundown. What they didn't sell on the beach would rot. We had no refrigeration. So you could take a bucket down and buy all the fish you wanted for a penny. Or they'd use it the next day for bait. So we fed the ducks the fish and the intervals of fish, anything out of the fish. Well, they thrived on it. They got good and fat, but they tasted just like fish. They fed on fish, and they became fish. Mother said, we want ducks. All right, so you took four ducks, and you put them away. And then for the next two weeks, for in ten days, they will completely change the odor of that flesh if you were consistent in the change of feed. And you put the sour milk, corn, wheat, anything you had, but not fish. You couldn't just give them this during the day, and because fish was cheap, give them a little fish at night. You couldn't mix up the diet. So for the next two weeks, you gave them that changed diet. May I tell you, if you didn't, what happened? We couldn't have ducks for dinner. If I made the mistake, my mother said to me, I want ducks in two weeks, and I didn't obey her order. When I finally discovered my mistake, and did it, say, a week later, but well, a week was not enough. So I didn't want to confess my mistake, but the oven confessed it. <laughs> and so the heads were chopped off, and the ducks were all chopped and prepared, and then all of a sudden, all over the neighborhood, the goddess are having fish for Sunday. Because you couldn't eat it. The thing is, it was a duck. It looks like a duck. It is a duck, but it tasted like a fish. For it paid upon fish for the two weeks, or rather at least one week. It took ten days to convert the flesh from the fish where it normally fed because it was cheap into the wheat or the corn or the milk. That was a lesson I learned. If I am going to be the vine of eternity, and I am the eternal vine, I can only grow what I feed myself mentally. What am I feeding myself morning, noon, and night? It, I cannot change it during the day and say, a little fish because it's cheap. What's going to happen here? This is nothing. And all of a sudden I read some stupid little thing and I react. That's my fish. And I want a bird that really is milk-fed. I have got to actually put myself on a diet, a mental diet, and stick to it. And then I will bear the fruit of that changed diet. It's entirely up to us. All these little things happen in our life to teach us a lesson. Who would have thought when I was a boy, when mother said to me, we have ducks in two weeks, and you put the ducks away, that I would have learned the most fantastic lesson. I didn't learn it then. Many a time I made the mistake. And so we had to settle for something else we had in the house. But no matter what it was, couldn't have ducks. 
You couldn't eat it. You looked at it and nothing is more displeasing than to look at a duck and eat fish. And I love fish. But let it look like a fish. But don't look like a duck and I'm eating fish. Well, that is man's being. I am the vine of eternity. And you say within yourself, I am the true vine. And my father is the vine dresser. 